Microsoft Access is a powerful program. One of its most useful aspects is the built-in flexibility to customize the program using macros, data macros, and Visual Basic for applications. In this movie, I'll describe how you can use each of those capabilities to enhance your Access databases. Macros are a series of steps that you can have Access replay automatically. For example, in this database I have the Open Products Report macro, which is here in the navigation pane. If I right-click the macro and click Design View, you can see the steps, or in this case the single step, in the macro. What this macro, which is named Open Products Report, does is to implement the Open Report method, and then it opens the report named Products Report, and that product report is here in the navigation pane. With the macro open, if I click Run, Access runs the code and displays the Products Report. I'll go ahead and close the Products Report by pressing Control w and do the same for the Open Products Report macro, pressing Control w again. Data macros, which are new in Access 2010, let you attach logic to a table, which was more difficult to do in the past. For example, let's suppose that you run a company that sends shipments to customers and you want to be notified by email whenever a shipment is sent out late. To do that, you can create a data macro that is attached to the shipments table. So if I were to double click the shipments table in the navigation pane, it would open and then on the table contextual tab, I can click the named macro button, point to edit named macro, and then click late shipment notification. And when I do, you see a data macro interface that looks a lot like the macro interface that we saw earlier. In this case, the macro asks if the shipment actual date is greater than, that means after the shipment target date, and if it is, then it sends an email. And there's the email address, the subject, and the body. I'll go ahead and press Control w to close that, and also to close the shipments table. Finally, in this overview, I'd like to show you VBA code. VBA code lets you customize your database to automate processes and to control what your users can do. So let's say, for example, that you wanted to put a button on a form that allowed users to close the current database. There is VBA code to do that, and I'll press Alt F11 to open the VBA editor. When I do, we see the code, and in this case there are two code modules. The first one indicates that when the user clicks a command button named Command0, then Access performs the action Close Database. If they click the Command1 button, then the user will quit Access and save everything. That is what AC Quit Save All means. Now I'm going to press Alt F11 to go back to the main Access database and show you what happens when we run that code. In this case, the buttons are on the Close Database or Quit Access form, so I'll double click that. And you can see those two buttons there. If you click the Close Database button, doing so closes the database and takes you back to the backstage view. I'll provide a brief overview of macros and data macros in this chapter before moving on to VBA which is the most powerful and versatile automation tool available in Access. I'm sure that, among these three options, you'll find the tools to create the solution you want.